Do you guys remember this scene from season 2? When the gangster got caught, he was a little worried at first. But when he found out that it was just a little girl, he was no longer worried because he didn't see her as a threat. Given Tiao Ling's appearance, that's a common first impression towards her. People who are shorter in height are looked down upon, not only physically, but even figuratively. She's also pretty skinny, so someone who doesn't look muscular would automatically appear weak. But I think the biggest reason why she was being underestimated is simply because she's a woman. Villains aren't the only ones who are prone to underestimating female characters. The protagonists themselves can be guilty of that too. Yes, even Tseng Xiaoxie was no exception. When Tseng Xiaoxie was about to leave the hospital room to go after the gangster, he stopped when Xiao Ling said she wanted to go along with him. Maybe this is just a coincidence, but this scene looked like he was intentionally blocking the door so that she couldn't go out. He wanted her to stay inside, where he thinks she will be safe. Of course, we know that he didn't do that out of ill intentions. Most people would do that for their loved ones, regardless of gender and age. And like what Xiao Ling had said, he was just trying to protect her. It's kinda ironic though, since the girl he is trying to protect is someone whom he knows is far from weak. Whenever she beats him up, he is always in a lot of pain. With that, he definitely knows how strong she is. Moreover, they even had martial arts training together. There is no way for him not to be aware of her combat skills and potential. Yet, he still sees her as someone very fragile and delicate that he needs to protect from actual danger. I'm certain that Tseng Xiaoxie would not have acted like that with Lu Kuang. An injured Lu Kuang is a different story, of course. So, even though Lu Kuang is officially the weakest among the trio, Tseng Xiaoxie gets him involved in his dangerous plans. So why does he treat Tiao Ling differently? Well, I think the reason is simple. It's because she's a woman. And she is the most important woman in his life. She is someone he needs to protect at all costs. Of course, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's actually very sweet. Even Tiao Ling appreciates his protectiveness. But in that urgent situation, she needed something else. And that is his trust. The trust that she is not only someone who has to be behind him, but can also be by his side. Of course, we know that Tseng Xiaoxie didn't intend to not trust her, but his actions give the impression that he thinks she's just going to be a burden in a dangerous situation. That same overprotectiveness had somewhat made him forget how capable Tiao Ling is. But women have pride too. Besides, they're out of time. So while Tseng Xiaoxie was still processing about what to do, Lu Kuang did the push for them to work together already. He was quicker in acknowledging Tiao Ling's usefulness in the mission. Actually, he had always seen her as someone he can rely on. If Tseng Xiaoxie is overprotective towards Tiao Ling, Lu Kuang is the same towards Tseng Xiaoxie. But if Lu Kuang couldn't look after Tseng Xiaoxie himself, he isn't at ease unless Tiao Ling will be there to look after the delicate puppy. He always counts on her to make sure our Tseng Xiaoxie doesn't get in trouble. Even if she had failed, Lu Kuang finds her that trustworthy. Remember this scene when Lu Kuang had sent coordinates to Tiao Ling while Tseng Xiaoxie was being kidnapped? I think that part is Lu Kuang's idea. He must have figured out their location when he used his powers, then messaged Tiao Ling immediately. Going after kidnappers is dangerous. He could have notified the cops instead, particularly Captain Xiao. But nope, his first option to notify with such dangerous information is Tiao Ling. He trusted Tiao Ling would be able to catch up on Tseng Xiaoxie and help rescue him. 
And actually, there had been a scene wherein Tiao Ling had protected the duo in season one. When a police officer entered the Time Photo Studio, these two were panicking a little. After all, they've had missions that are a little questionable. Even if this corporate guy is a jerk, what they did is still technically stealing too. But anyway, who was the one who protected the two from the possibility of being investigated by the police? It's none other than telling. With that, it was already hinted this early that she can be fearless in such serious situations. She is someone who is very capable of protecting them. No wonder Lu Kuang reaches out to her when he needs help. Speaking of which, remember the scene in the chibi specials where In Tseng Xiaoxie was forced to combat by their master? Lu Kuang was dragged along against his will. But look at his action. To whom was he crying for help? Yes, it's none other than Tiao Ling. Although, yeah, she wasn't able to help him in that situation. But the mere fact that he asked her to save him is a big deal. It confirms that he trusts her enough to save him. No wonder she is the one whom he can trust that could protect the person who is more important than his life. Season 1 Lu Kuang relies on Xiao Ling to keep their most important person as safe as possible. And that didn't change in Season 2. He has even been letting her become more involved in their dangerous missions ever since she found out about their powers, which they no longer need to hide from her. As for Tseng Xiao Xiu, he is very protective of Xiao Ling in Season 1 and will always be. However, Season 2 of Tseng Xiaoxiu has begun to treat her as one of his partners in crime in his risky adventures. With that, Xiao Ling is a part of the trio that believes in each other. She is not just some woman who needs to be protected. She can protect them as well. She is a female character who isn't a burden. Nor is her purpose just for moral support. She doesn't need to win fights in order to prove herself. She also doesn't need supernatural powers to be significant in the story. Oh, I'm so proud of her. I really love how the Link Click series portrayed her. Of course, I have lots more to say about how incredible she is. Not sure if it will be part of a new video series or I'll make this video part of one. But whatever will happen in the future, in order to be notified once the next video is ready, please subscribe, okay? Thanks! Also, if you had enjoyed this video somehow, I would appreciate it if you click the like button. That always motivates me to create more videos like this. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Take care!